What is going on, guys? Hey, welcome back. Another episode here of the Fish Addict TV. We're going to be talking about some new strategies going into this 2022 year. It's January, it's cold, and this is when these big bass are starting to feed. They're starting to heavily feed on shad, on rainbow trout with all the lakes in Southern California being stocked with rainbow trout, these large bass are targeting these schools of rainbow trout and they're gorging up on these bigger meals. So what we're gonna do today is talk a little bit about what type of bait do you wanna throw for this type of scenario? What type of bait do you need to have on your deck? A big bait that's gonna get you that big bite. Now. First thing you could throw is a soft plastic eight inch or bigger swim bait. This is actually a unique, I think it's a hand poured bait I actually got from the local tackle shop, but works and imitates that rainbow trout perfectly. Similar to a Huddleston, but it's got the paddle tail instead of the wedge style tail. This thing gets kicking pretty good underwater and you can drag this bait at any depth. You can drag it mid column, you could drag it on the bottom. What I like to do with this bait is I like to drag it on the bottom. That's usually the best technique. Now I put a treble hook here on the bottom just for that extra bite, but if you are getting hung up, you know, you can run these with just the jig hook on top and slow roll this rainbow trout on the bottom for these big bass. That would be probably my number one go-to bait here in January, is a soft plastic swim bait that's over eight inches to get that big bite. That's what I'm gonna be throwing this next week at Diamond Valley Lake. We're gonna go up there and fish a tournament. So I'm actually pretty stoked because I've never fished a tournament at Diamond Valley, but we're definitely gonna be throwing this bait the second bait I wanna to talk to you guys about is another big swim bait. I'm sure you guys know what this bait is. It is the Depths Slide Swimmer 175 Psycho Trout Pattern. Now I was super stoked to get this lure in particular because as you guys know, I met Butch Brown a couple weeks back at Castaic Lagoon and you know he talks about these lures and has designed colors for depths it's just really special to be able to finally get this lure it's an expensive lure it's a hundred dollars i've never bought one before my first time out with it i threw it and i caught a three and a half pounder on this lure right here the action of this the swim on these on these uh slide swimmers is just so realistic and so tantalizing to those bass where they react upon seeing this thing swimming by their face. It draws these fish in, you know, and the way this bait is made, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. It's worth the hundred dollars, I would say. I mean, I already caught a three and a half pounder on it. I think we can get a uh, solid six to 10 pounder on it though when we go out to Diamond Valley Lake, if we're lucky, if we're in the right spots. But these two baits are gonna be the top one and two baits that I would recommend fishing through January, especially if you're in Southern California, especially while these fish are starting to gorge up on these shad and these rainbow trouts that are getting stocked into these lakes. You're not gonna get as many bites. Of course, we know that they're bigger baits, but when you do get the bite, it's going to be a quality, quality fish. That's just what I wanted to touch on today for you guys a little bit. Make sure when you're throwing either of these baits though, you're throwing it on something with heavy line, 20 pound plus. I'll actually show you guys what line I put on my swim bait rods. Give me one second. I recommend Seaguar 100% fluorocarbon to spool up 20, 25 pound. I use 20. I try to get away with the lightest line that I can. You do wanna be able to horse these fish in when you hook them up on either this or especially this with these treble hooks. They can shake the hooks pretty easily if you don't get them good enough, but 
something that's heavy, 20 pound, that's 100% fluorocarbon, is really going to uh, make that bait sink down, get to the depth you need to be. Heavy rod, eight foot plus. This is a little shorter than eight foot, but make sure you try to get a heavy rod with eight foot plus to really cast those baits out there, long bomber casts. But this is the line I recommend. Um, yeah, we're gonna go try our luck this year. January, fishing uh, these big swim baits, see if we can't stick a 10 pounder. That's the goal always. Um, I think we can do it. I think these are the next months to really do it and to really catch those big fish. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching these videos, supporting the Fish Addict TV. Look, we're growing. We're starting to make more videos. I'm also working on a clothing brand for you guys to kind of just put my creativity out there, put my passion for fishing out there to the fishing world, try to share some of my ideas. So we do have merchandise. This is actually a shirt that we just made. It's Eat Sleep Fish, and it's got it in Japanese writing as well. On the back, you can kind of check it out. If you guys want a t-shirt or a hoodie or something with one of our designs on it, shoot me a DM. We're building the website right now, and we'll be launching in the next few months. But you know, if you guys want to support the channel now, I can definitely get you a shirt. I can definitely um, send, send that out to you. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Share, like, subscribe. It does me a lot. Thank you guys so much. Get out there and go fish. Until next time, it's your boy Yokes.